So, a few years back, by few I mean like seven, eight years ago, something like that, uh, we were at my buddy Bill's house. Say hi, Bill. What's up? And uh, we were shooting some guns, and we did a short little thing on how to shoot a bow, and we were using uh, my wife's old bow that she's had since she was a little kid. And well, we've got some better ones since then, so we're going to do how to shoot a bow, take two. We've been shooting for a few minutes, so I just want to make sure my tips are nice and tight. When you load, you want to make sure that your two same colored veins are going against the side of the bow. You want it about 90 degrees to the bowstring. Lock it in tight. Some of them click once, some of them click twice. Either way, you want it nice and seated on the knock. And then gripping with just your fingertips, one on either side of the string. You can do it this way, this way, you can even do it this way. But your best bet is two fingers here. That makes your draw point the smallest point possible to focus all of the kinetic energy right on the back side of the arrow. Then you want to hold it down and as you draw you want to lift this arm and pull this arm at the same time like that. Imagine having an acorn or a walnut between your shoulder blades you're trying to crack it with your shoulder blades so <clears throat> essentially you're using your back muscles not your arms not your chest to draw otherwise you're going to be hurting way too fast you too much muscle fatigue now this bow it's an old browning they don't even make them anymore it was a christmas gift a few years ago from say hi bill what's up <laughs> and uh I made the string myself because it didn't have a string on it and uh, I'll do a totally separate video on how to make a string for a bow um, but this thing shoots great it's a 30 pound draw with a 62 inch string and a 30 inch draw length so pull you aim and you release it's pretty simple now we have what we call a kiss point where essentially as you draw the bow you touch your hand to your face we call that a kiss point because you're basically trying to kiss your hand as you draw an aim what that does is it puts the arrow right under your eye at a point that's consistent every time because when shooting archery consistency is kind of key there's all kinds of factors that can change your shot weather wind sun uh, a ripple in the vein of the arrow, a dent in the arrow tip, if you're depending on the kind of tips you're shooting with. Um, but one thing that needs to say the same is your technique. So your technique, lift and draw and touch your face with your hand on your kiss point, wherever that is comfortable for you. And you have to figure that out, but you do it consistently every single time and it gives you a fairly consistent shot. Now, I'm by no means an expert at archery. I've been shooting most of my life, but I haven't really shot consistently for 15 years, and I'm kind of just getting back into it. So, I'm not exactly William Tell. I'm really not an expert shot on anything. You're not going to see me in any sort of competitions or anything professional. This is just for fun, leisure, amusement, and hello. Hi. So that's all I do, but if it's something that you find enjoyable, you can have a lot of hours of enjoyable practice with this. Real simple. And when you're first starting out, it's better to work on grouping rather than actually hitting the bullseye. When you first learn, first you want to practice hitting the target consistently. Once you know you're hitting the target consistently at whatever range you're shooting at, we're here at about 10 yards, not even, not even, this is probably more like seven or eight yards. So we're not that far away from the target, but I'm fairly First you want to practice being able to hit the target. 
And then you want to practice on grouping, getting your shots as close together as possible for what they call that center mass shot. Once you know all your shots are going to be within a range of about eh, that far apart, give or take a little bit, once all of your shots start getting that tight, now you can start shooting for that pinpoint accuracy. And right now, today, it's actually been pretty windy out. You'll probably see the wind blowing my hair around a little bit because it one second it's quiet like it is right now and then in a minute it's going to pick up a big ass gust and it can blow your arrow off target at this distance it's not such a big deal for your arrow to be blown off target but at a longer distance it can make a big difference so like right now like i said we're probably somewhere around seven or eight yards from the target let me back up a little bit Now I'd imagine we're a good legitimate 15 to 20 yards from the target. And at this distance, wind can play a factor. But as long as your technique stays the same, you're still gonna hit your shots. Aim small, miss small. Saw that in the movie, but it's true. Have a good day, folks. What's up?